On the last days that we are mourning on the destruction of the temple, Nine so far. So let us see very interesting tables which had to do with the Temple Mount, definitely to do with the Sixth of War, when Israel conquered Jerusalem. Many important teachings behind those tables, as you see just now tables which are very significant. Now the first thing is very important to know why Temple Mount is called like this. Definitely the famous picture everyone saw it, I'm sure, the wedding wall when Israel entered Jerusalem, the sixth war, blowing the shofar. So let us see now very interesting, significant table on the Sixth Day War, which was in 1967, which in Hebrew is 5,727. Now it is interesting what you see here is what makes Bible code very significant. This Dr. Rottenberg, Alexander Rottenberg, whose program I'm using, he's a scientist who came from Russia, like Professor Rips. Professor Rips showed him the phenomena, became Orthodox Jews, keeps the Torah and everything. And he wrote also a book about the codes, all his truths. So he said that what makes table significant is, which is minimal, best meeting of the words, so this is exactly what you have here. So meeting, the good meeting in the Torah, in the sixth day war. She's minimal, really, sixth day war, Shishet Ayamim, best meeting with war, Milchama, yeah, war. And then with the year when it happened, in Hebrew it is 5,000, 727, of Zion. I think it's many millions of Torah also. And this is the best missing, the sixth war, sixth day war we took place, the war took place on this year. Five, seven, five. And in Hebrew, we have the letter A, which is five thousands, and then we have seven hundred and twenty, Seven, eight of Shin Zion. Very interesting date, a lot. I wrote about it in my book, Time of Redemption. You can get it in my sad glazersonbooks.com in Amazon, Time of Redemption. I bought more many sources in Kabbalah, Meda Shalmud of this year being a very significant one for Israel. Here is Israel. So, what more we have here? At Ashkaz Minimali, this is what he says, the year 5,700, very minimal in the old Torah. So, you think to yourself, what can be the chances that the year 5,722 will come exactly with the sixth of all far away from Queen River? Then, also, what you have in the war, you see in the Hebrew word in black is Milchama. You have, in you see here, Anisim. Anisim, the miracles, <laughs> which happened Sabbath to the army. No doubt <laughs> that unbelievable miracles happened on this war. So you have here, the miracle coming with the war, which is again the best meeting in the Torah between miracles and and the war and the word and it seems the miracle which you have in purple yeah is second minimal the Torah which also make it significant. Then what we have more we have here the best meeting in the Torah of the wailing wall Kotel 
נשיא כותל, ביילינג וול, עם טקסי לטר קאפ אוף טוונטי שרינגל, כותל ויזי שיר, that it was conquered. Unbelievable significant table. And here we have also the word Amigdash, temple, because this is a mount temple. This is a month, the month was here, where the war took place, and here's the date, the cup of love, in the 26th of this month. So, very, very significant table, no doubt. And telling us about what the sixth war in which in the time of Israel, this is Israel, got back the wailing wall, yeah, in the middle of the temple. On the sixth of war, a lot of miracles happened to them. Here is a verse which said, I mean, this is a promise which you have here. When God said, we are Hashem at Ares, he will conquer the land. Which one lavatechem latet lachem, which I swore to your forefather to give to you exactly in the right place. So one should know if one does not believe in the Torah, so you see what happened to the government over there. Israel, Jews are conquerors, Israel conquers the court of the land for the Palestinians. But if you believe in the Torah, look what is written there. God promised the land to Israel. <laughs> And clearly the miracle showed it, yeah. If one does not believe in the Torah, definitely, then Israel are cockers. But if you learn the Torah properly, we're not learning. You see clearly verses we say, God said, I gave the land to, to you, to Abraham and your descendants. Then he said even to other, to Jacob also, yeah. Right? That you'll get the land. will be fruitful. So, no doubt that the land belonged to Israel according to the Torah. So this is about Zik Shavor, when Jews really conquered the wailing wall, the Kotel, Mount Temple, definitely. So this brings us to another very, very interesting table, very significant. But before seeing the table, let us see what the Torah says about the, the Temple Mount. Oh, it, it came, why right? it is called Amoria. Moria. So, let us see what the Torah says in Genesis 22, chapter 22, verse 13, 14. And Abraham calls the name of that place, this was the place that when he brought his son Isaac yeah, to slaughter, another story. So, and Abraham calls the name of that place, God will be seen. In Hebrew, the Shem Yirae. Also, Yirae, close to Moria, to our. It is said to this day, in this mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. In the mount of God, it will be seen. This is a temple, yeah. The divine glory rests there. So amazingly, when I look for the word Arabic, you can see in Hebrew, yeah, in Hebrew, not in English, we try to explain to you. In black, you see here. Ar Abayt. Ar Abayt is the mount of the heart, but it's temple mount. This is the name, Ar Abayt. This is the name that it appears all over in Hebrew. Ar Abayt, the house of the, of the mountain on which you have the house, the temple. But Amigdash. Then, unbelievable. This is exactly what you saw, the verse, which says, Vekha Abraham Shema Makom. Ahu, this place where he brought his son, the offer, Hashem Yirae, God will be seen there, Asher Yamer Ayom, that today also it will be seen, so because the temple, the glory of God there. This is exactly what you see, and this is a place, all of it comes in few chapters in Genesis, which is very significant, and this is a verse, as you see, Genesis 22, 13, 13. So, 
what more we have in this chamber which makes it very significant. The first thing, you have parallel son of Jesse. I mean, to guess, <laughs> Mount Temple, no, unfortunately, now it's by Ishmael, the Arabs are the, <laughs> unfortunately, you know, the wakfs, they are the owners, you know, Diane gave them after the sixth war, you know, that Diane was not religious, he gave them, the Arabs did it for you. <laughs> so, Ishmael now, right? So, this is what is written here, but there are verses which tell an exactly situation. And this is what is written here, after giving a lot of blessing to the to Ishmael, yeah, Abraham asked God to bless him, and God blessed him. He said, it will be a big nation here, going at all, multiplied. Lots of princes. But, at Briti, but my covenant, I will establish at Yitzchak with Isaac. Unbelievable comes here in red, the eve of the sixth of all, which is 5, 7, 26. According to the Zohar, I brought in my book, Time of Redemption, this is the date which is brought in the Zohar. The eve of the sixth of all, the Jews really got ready to this war. So amazing, so telling us that the covenant I did with Isaac. Then you have another verse which says the same thing, long verse, but also the same idea. God says when I taught you the Chayat Kol I give you all, your, all the lands you will get here, and uh, all nations will be blessed by you, but because you obey my Torah, you keep my laws, my statutes, and my Torah. Oh, it's amazing. So, them keeping the Torah, Sabbath, and all these laws of the Torah, yeah, this gives Jews the right to get the land. If not, oh, it's a good question. What is their right with the Torah? Then also you have here the promise. God says, I will establish the covenant with me and you between you and your descendants, all of our generations. Amazing. So, here what you have, as you said, Temple Mount, exactly on the verse, why it was called Temple Mount, our bait. Then Ishai, son of Jesse, that maybe him, when he will come, we'll get it, no, what can do? Yeah, just don't do the repentance, because he's written here, the Hebrew word, Teshuva, in yellow, Teshuva. Repentance, Torah, keeping the Torah and repentance give Jews the right to get Mount Temple. And Zion also, you have Zion, but you have Zion, also Zion, you have in red, Zion. Yeah, this gives the Jews the right. If they're not Torah, no Shabbos, they don't keep this. So definitely, these are conquerors, this was their upset. The land belongs to them. You know, now even the claim that the veiling wall also is theirs. So if you say in the internet in the news that um, Abu Mazen says that the veiling wall also belongs to, to the Arabs. Yeah? <laughs> no. So what we should do? Uh, we should do tshuva. We should believe in the Torah and strike in our face. Emuna, interesting parallel comes here. Emuna, face, and prayers. Tshila also comes here. Prayers. Repentance, keeping the Torah. Unbelievable, you have here, this year, sabbatical year, Tavshin Pei Bet, 5782, sabbatical year, where we are promised in the Talmud, 1978, that Messiah will come in the end of it, and if Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky promises it will be, hoping that but it depends, the Jews will do tshuva. Repentance, praying, they will thank their face. Our rabbi said us, Jews came out from Egypt in the merit, merit of faith. So, this is also what will bring them now from this exile of the Arabs, Ishmael and Adam. Then, you have here also very interesting you have the word Geula, full writing of Geula, redemption. Redemption will come and shalom, it will be peace. <laughs> But once you believe in God, you believe in Torah, 
and all of them, Gentiles have to keep their seven laws and they will keep it. And God definitely will be. When Messiah will come and reveal everything about God, about the Torah, then will be peace, shalom, as is written here. And here you have the word temple. <laughs> Mikdash, temple will have. And Moriah, this is the name of the Ara Moriah. Moriah, yeah, also come from. Mor is really spices, very good <laughs> taste. But also to do a Ria with this. Then in the same temple, when we go a little bit up, we have unbelievable, again, this date that we saw in the other table, which is A Tav Shin Kavzain, 5,727. And within it, Latet, Latet Le Writers, Eretz Zot Le Rishta, amazing to give you, at the land, Azot, this land, Israel, Lerishta, to inherit it, and exactly tell you when, the year 5,727, six the war. So, what can I say? <laughs> Somebody can have some doubts that it was, it can be found also in a war and peace. <laughs> that you have unbelievable, exactly the full story. This is really the best, I think, the best Bible code when you have exactly the location of the Arabite, and the Arabite come from this verse, the Arabite Mount Temple. Then, having the promise, God says, I will establish with Isaac, yeah, not with Ishmael. And this was the eve of six the war. And having minimal here, and having best meeting, is Mount Temple, and Son of Jesse parallel to faith, to prayer, and parallel also very significant. So, as I feel, I hope that people have patience to look into it, but unfortunately, it looked to me that they don't have patience. Maybe it's difficult for them to accept the Torah, we put the Torah, Shabbat, and everything. But you see such clear proof, you know, that the blueprint of the Torah, the Torah is the blueprint of the world. Yeah, the blueprint of God created, as Binagaon says, as Zohar said, God looked into the Torah and created the world. And you like, in the plane today, you know, that uh, pilots prepare before <laughs> the whole way. Yeah. And then the plane goes, the same thing when God created the world. In the five books of Moses, <laughs> he put the plan how the world will look like. Definitely, like if there are winds, you have to change the direction of the airplane. The same thing here also. <laughs> when you just don't keep the Torah, so you see, winds come. And, Nazis and anti semites and all what you have. But basically, this is a blueprint of creation. And it was accepted by science, we know, yeah, it was accepted by science. And the all tables really have basic explanation scientifically, good meetings, this means the location, and books, and all of this you can see in these tables. So very, very important, really. I hope that people will still understand that the Bible code, a blueprint of creation, you know, how much exactly to have all this coming here, exactly the right place with the Mount, Temple Mount, and exactly with the Eve of the Sixth War, and the Sixth War itself, and all this minimal. In, imagine to yourself, what can be the chances that the date of the sixth day war, like we saw before, yeah, we the sixth day war, and when we just got the Mount Temple exactly on this year. So, no, what we can do, the Satan is strong, and 
people not yet accepted. Not because there are some who accepted it, but they not didn't accept yet. Because uh, they don't want to talk about it. Gentile, you have to keep the five laws: abortion, homosexuality, and just what you have to keep the Sabbath, and all these laws about men and women. No? Difficult, no difficult. So you see how difficult we have now the time of travels all over. So interesting and important and very significant table for our time.